go back to when I was, especially in my teaching job, you know, I just got to the point where I just thought, I'd, you know, whatever I loved about teaching when I started, I've lost the plot and this job is basically killing me. You know? And then there was this thing of, you know, I've got two children, we, we've got a mortgage, you know, financially we're not like, it's not like I can just go, oh, I'm going to take a sabbatical and I retrain to do something different. It was like facing this wall of, well, how do I find my way forward into doing things that fulfill mm-hmm. me when it felt like a momentous task. And that's really. why sometimes, you know, for me, I see it over and over again, and people sometimes need that complete breakdown, don't they? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To realise, yeah. you know, maybe there'll be a death, maybe there'll be a big illness, like there was for myself, mm-hmm. you know, to kind of like make you stop and take stock yeah. of your yeah. life, because otherwise you are just on that treadmill, and when do you get time to kind of put, lift your head <laughs> up and think, oh, actually, I mean, what is really happening here? It's, it's it does fantastic. take time as well, doesn't it? Mm. It takes time to process that, like the yeah. routine, and you made that decision, mm. and it's about trusting that what what the next step is will be revealed to yeah. you. Yeah. That's it. So what follows often a breakdown is the decision that this is not going to be the same again, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. then I think mm. things do tend to like realign themselves to to allow the trust to come in and That's to allow right. you to see that this is a good thing. Yeah. But I think the other thing that was massive for me was that when I was trying to make all those decisions, I really felt very on my own. Yeah. You know, moved to Grimsby, lived in this boarding school, which was all of our lives. You know, I hadn't really made any friends that were like-minded. So I was surrounded by people who were all just getting on with their jobs and, and I didn't have anyone to talk to who kind of got where I was coming from. You know. Yeah. And, and it was so, so frightening to be trying to make those decisions on my own. I think, gosh, if I'd known you guys then, it yeah, would have been so yeah. much easier. And that's, I mean, that's another thing that we say about our women, isn't it, really? That there's that whole thing about the support yeah. system of that connection. People who get where you're coming from yeah. actually encourage you to not give up. I, I know I wouldn't yeah. have made the decisions I've made and had um, and done what I've done in the last and personally developed in the last two years had it not been for that fabulous. Yeah, and I like it. Yeah. You know when there's like baby mice or kittens, and they kind of rotate to keep the one in the middle nice and warm. Yeah. And kind of steps into their own um, sort of darkness almost, and the fabulous women just kind of like group you around yeah. to make sure that you're warm and supported yeah. as you do that. Yeah. I just think that's so powerful. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Yeah. I mean, because one of one of the things is I, you know, I've watched women speaking or heard women speak about this sort of thing and just thought well that's all right for you yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you've obviously like you know got a husband with a well-paid job and so you can keep you going while you retrain or you have obviously you know you're obviously like a bit special or is that true no, <laughs> no. Oh, it doesn't feel true to me because oh. it feels like we are ordinary, ordinary people. people who've just been quite determined maybe to oh, find a way with an extraordinary yeah. inner yeah. Yeah. Prepared. Prepared. Yeah. Rather than ignore it anymore. Yeah. And acknowledge the, the the parts of us that maybe we wouldn't want to really. It's not all <laughs> it's not all rainbows and unicorns, <laughs> is it? No. It's, you know, it's kind of so dark that like you're wading through something you don't even yeah. want to keep on going through. Yeah. But that's it's when that knowing. support yeah. comes yeah, in, yeah, isn't yeah. it? When you, you, you will come through. Yeah, you know, and uh, and for me, I live by myself. I don't have a partner at the moment on his way <laughs> um, but you know knowing that you've got people women to reach out to is uh, it's massive isn't it it's massive whether it's like a really good thing and oh guess what just happened to me or you know this this is happening and you know you might want you might Help. want some advice <laughs> you might want a hand a hold or a hug or a cup of tea yeah, because that's that's potential really is in all of us, isn't yeah, it? That's yeah. what I think. Oh, yeah, 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 I, yeah. I sometimes yeah. meet women who are saying, "Oh, it's all going wrong," and I just think you are such a courageous, beautiful, talented woman. And women say, "What else could I do if I'm not doing my job that's killing me?" <laughs> and mm-hmm. you think that you know you are so clever, and yeah, you, but you, yeah. I, I couldn't see it in me. I really couldn't. I needed help to sort of get a bit more confident yeah. about bringing that out and still need help and I think we all do don't mm. we yeah, and I think that's the thing yeah. is yeah. It's that we need to be we need to be supported mm. you slowly see it over time and, and that's how it works yeah. isn't it it's that slow slow but sure one little yeah. Step at a time. Yeah. yeah yeah but but having the confidence just to know if I make this one step it is going to take me in a new direction yeah. and then I'm going to put the next 
next and then today yeah. tomorrow yeah. it's like and they don't have to be huge do they? No. no but i was going to say but you know not not kind of standing still with kind of paralysis with fear mm. although being still sometimes is like the right thing to do. <laughs> that sounds that really contradictory, right. doesn't it? Dipping the toe, just, yeah. kind of just taking that first yeah. tiptoe. Yeah. Or maybe even just being open to the idea that there is something else and not just, you know, well, this is it and this is my lot. Mm. Mm. I think that's a big step, actually. It's yeah, like, absolutely. Like, no, definitely. We tend to get stuck yeah. in this. I've got to keep going. This is the way it is. Yeah. I should be really grateful for what I've got. I've got a job. I've got should, a home. Should, I've should, got should. a partner. Mm. I should be thankful. I'm not really happy, but I don't want to think about it because I should be happy. Should, should, and should. just being open-minded mm. enough to sit back and go, actually, is there another way I could be doing this? I think that's life-changing. Mm.